Embrace the strange, today's illusion is procession. From the figure's distorted neck, its alien head, mirroring space with its stars and black hole voids, gnaws at its leg as it trudges into oblivion. Unwavering, it persists despite the weight of its limbs or the heaviness of its own head, burdening it like an ankle weight. Finally, this is what this piece feels like. I've had this concept in my mind for a while, and for a while, I mean like a year, maybe two years. I was skeptical of it because, one, it's odd, and two, I doubted my ability to render the anatomy clearly, specifically the sort of, as it turned out, Pac-Man alien head. And third, tying back to the first issue, if I find it odd, I can't begin to imagine how anyone else would begin to perceive it. But since I'm on my Embrace the Strange wave, I chose to embrace the challenge of working against my own reluctance and inner critic. This is the outcome. Further, the fact that I held on to this idea indicates that it was compelling enough to me, and once it was down on paper, I was still very much drawn to it. Unsuspecting, innocent, although it embodies something I wrote. I can't name the source. Maybe it was a poem, but it was something about a foot in hell. You can't tell. Like the sight of light, the bottom of a well, heaven met hell. So I do like it. I just don't get how it fits superficially with my other pieces. Although there is a smidge of wafering labor in this. That's another painting. The title procession is an indication of how it might tie into my work as a whole. And it's okay if you don't like it. I found it a tad underwhelming myself, but it wanted to be this, to have this form. If you count the poetry fragment, it's a reincarnation of sorts, so I've let it live. So, if you take anything away from this video, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.